I remember riding on the school bus as a kid, and, and yeah. our bus driver would always honk and get so mad when people try to go around the buses. Oh, yeah. They didn't know, I guess, they were supposed to stop. No, they write down their plates, they'd report them. Right. Just make sure you stop. Good, yeah. I'm glad that, that yes. your, you know, your bus driver kind of was like, no, 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 you're not going to get away yeah. with this. Right. Yeah. So I think it's really easy to just kind of leave. It happens. Oh, yeah. I've seen drivers. More often than we want to admit. I mean, yeah, you still see drivers do it. Mm -hmm. Got to wait a minute. I think the You're only thing I make remember about the school bus was like listening to my CD player with Good Charlotte on my headphones. Oh, okay. That's like the only good memory Charlotte. I have of the school bus. Uh, Who's coming to Boise, by the way? Is, is in November. Still, oh, really? Oh, wow. I still wonder yeah. if the, if the cool kids sit in the back. That was always like, that that was like always you didn't thing. get to go in the back mm -hmm. unless they invited you Ooh, to the back. Cool, I wasn't in, the in front of the bus. I wasn't in the back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was I was first so off the bus though. Hey, that's right. See, it's all about efficiency. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's on, right. Your right. whole life is about efficiency, I guess. So, <laughs> all right, one of those days that uh, perhaps I guess you can have the windows down yeah. this morning, be listening to that good Charlotte. And they see you on this <laughs> afternoon. If you are yep. doing that, I want to know who you Gosh, are. Is that is that yeah. lifestyles of the rich and famous? Yep. Okay. Okay. And there's one. I used to listen to that. So many. Yeah. Good Charlotte, I'm listening to forever. Dun, okay, dun, yeah. dun, it's time. Dun, dun, Bringing back dun, dun, the I would keep going, please, but I don't want to get in trouble please. for copyright. Yeah. Okay. As soon as this graphic goes, Denny's mic yeah. shuts off, Q. so let's do that. Yeah, let's. <laughs> Q, all right. Advisories for today. You know, we are looking at, uh, maybe you've noticed, oh, well, I'm sure you've noticed again the smoke and haze as you look across the valley. So it has actually impacted some of visibility, but also now air quality alerts have been issued for much of uh, northeast Oregon. Central parts of the state as well, as well as eastern Washington, the Panhandle, uh, southwest Idaho, much of southeastern Oregon. No advisories issued. We have, of course, experienced some of the poor air quality. We're in the moderate category, but also some red flag warnings still in effect for south central Oregon, northern Nevada, and uh, parts of, uh, well, it was southeast Idaho, but now just southwestern Wyoming. Uh, so again, the threat of some thunderstorms issuing uh, the uh, uh, red flag warnings, but uh, air quality alerts again. We're in the moderate category from the Department of Environmental Quality, so likely uh, staying the same, if not deteriorating slightly, as we continue to see southwest flow and smoke from uh, other fires being brought up into the region. So, what we can expect as far as the weather today hazy and hot out there, increasing clouds later in the day as we have some of that monsoon moisture coming up from the south. Likely seeing a few mountain storms uh, tomorrow. Not a big threat today. Anything, if anything, just some cloud cover and then more ice isolated storms on Friday as well. Temperature readings upper 90s today, so very close to that century mark. Not quite there, so a very toasty day in store out there today and tomorrow. Bit of a cool down uh, Thursday into Friday as we have an area of low pressure, a weak storm that's going to move through. That'll drop temperatures close to the average mark for Friday and Saturday. Again, still hot, but again, it's August. We expect that for this time of year. Future cast showing again a ridge of high pressure over much of the western U.S. That clockwise circulation helping to bring up some monsoon moisture from the south. Tomorrow, again, this model will indicate there's a slight risk of some storms over the higher elevations. I think for the valley, just seeing partly cloudy skies. A better chance on Friday, we have this area of low pressure working its way in off the Pacific. That'll help uh, interact with the monsoon moisture in place, generate just enough instability that we could see a chance of some thunderstorms. A, a better chance, I think, in a lot of locations, but even still, it's about a 20% chance is all for the Treasure Valley. High pressure then will rebuild back into the region over the weekend. Uh, an area of low pressure brushes through, but uh, ends up uh, weakening substantially uh, over the weekend as well. So a live after five forecast. Maybe you're going to head out and enjoy some of the live music out there today at the Grove Plaza. 98 degrees expected. It's going to be toasty out there getting into the upper 80s just after nine o'clock. Your forecast then for the uh, Treasure Valley. Yeah, nice and cool. Well, not cool, but cooler over the weekend. Uh, low to mid 90s expected. Plenty of sunshine even into next week. Mountain forecast real quick. Yeah, slight chance of some showers tomorrow. Better chance, I think, on Friday and then a perfect weekend in store with 80s uh, expected. Low 80s. Roland will be tracking any of the uh, monsoon moisture that works its way up in the next couple of days. You'll have any updates to the forecast at 4 and 530. So check it out.